Welcome back. You are watching the Pipe Junkie channel. I am Caleb. And it is a chilly afternoon. Hence the flannel. I've actually got my sleeves rolled down today. Uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing a... We're going to crack open this tin of Founding Fathers by Cornell and Deal. I believe that's how you say it anyway. Cornell and Deal, Cornell and Dial, I'm not really sure. But yeah, today we're going to be cracking this open. This is actually the first tobacco I've bought that's in a tin like this. I usually buy my Shamrock house blends from my local tobacconist. And they come in paper, not paper, Ziploc bags. I did a video on that a couple of days ago. But, yeah, today we're going to be doing, we're going to crack this open, we're going to smoke it. And, yeah, see what it's, what it's like. I've never really had anything by this brand, this company. Um, I encourage you, if you're, if you're watching, to pack a bowl and smoke with me. Of course, I'm drinking coffee in my sand dollar cup. Awesome. I love that mug. Just the, just the perfect size. Uh, yes, today we are smoking my Missouri Meerschaum. I'm not real sure of the brand. I call it my top hat or my chimney because <laughs> it looks like a little chimney. But yeah, today we're going to be smoking that, packing a bowl. So let's get right into it. Mm. Cornell and Deal selected hand blended tobaccos for the discriminating smoker. I believe in some instances discrimination is actually good. <laughs> state of our current state of our nation would have you believe that that is not the case, but. Discrimination is not all a bad word. So let's try the tin. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That is. Kind of get hints of. Honestly, judge, judging from the tin note, as. George Bruno called it. Smells like a mix between homemade grape juice and a chocolate covered raisin. Interesting. So let's pack us a bowl here. Kind of dry, honestly. Which is fine. It'll be all right. There's something in my eye, it's itching. And yeah, there is no. There are many different methods of packing a bowl, but my method is just. Put it in there. Don't pack it too tight. Don't pack it too loose. As I heard one guy describe it, packing a bowl is like building a fire. You want it tight enough so that it stays lit and burns, but you want it loose enough that it'll get some air. difference that makes but uh, the Sultan seems to think it does in case you couldn't tell I'm a I'm a fan of the Sultan he's a pretty cool guy and for my gear I got me a uh, 
a Zippo pipe lighter. And you turn it sideways, you know it's different from a regular Zippo. Some of them you can't turn sideways. Everybody knows what these are. This is a check tool. Now for the relight. On the first puff, it really ain't got much of a flavor. But I don't know if that's just the tobacco or if it's just me. Wow. <clears throat> the retro hell was pretty good. Don't mind that. That's just a neighbor. Yeah, this, this is actually not bad. Let's try it with a cup of coffee. neighborhood's active tonight. Yeah, this this is not bad. I like this. Not bad at all. Once again, if you're if you're uh watching this and I encourage you to pack a bowl and smoke with me. I would try to blow smoke rings but I can't do that. Yeah. That's good. Um, uh, I think I will be doing these videos. I think I've got my schedule worked out. My posting, my upload schedule. I'll upload a video Monday or Sunday. I could record it Sunday. Upload on Monday and Wednesday. And I've not got, you know, any other, I only, I'll only post twice a week because I work, obviously, and as most of us do, I'm sure, have a job. Someone's got a motorcycle going. Yeah, um, I'll be uploading on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I believe on Wednesdays I will I'll do reviews of tobacco, like tobacco reviews. So if you have any you'd like me to try, let me know. I'll uh, see if I can find it. If I can't find it at my local 
tobacco shop, I can we'll find we'll find it somehow. I think my next review is gonna be I'm gonna try some cherry bomb. A friend of mine told me that was pretty good. Yeah, this is this is not bad. I I recommend it if you if you like kind of a sweet raisiny tobacco. This not bad. Once again, it's Founding Fathers by Cornell and Deal. Pairs really well with Folgers Black Silk. I could do coffee reviews too. Pairing coffee with tobaccos and whatnot. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. I post videos like this every week. Various topics, reviews, and whatnot. Like I said in my last video, thinking about doing. Uh, a series about it's where we read where I read poetry and I smoke a pipe have a cup of coffee tea coffee or tea or coffee and tea I don't drink the two together <laughs> yeah if you enjoyed this uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments and Y'all have a good rest of your day, and I'm going to finish this pipe. <laughs>